One day after the shooting rampage in Buffalo, a gunman killed one person and wounded five others at a church in Southern California. That suspect now being identified as 68-year-old David Chow. He's accused of shooting people as they were gathering for a luncheon yesterday morning during church service. Churchgoers jumping into action, though the pastor hitting Chow with a chair, others then tackling him, tying him up with an extension cord. And correspondent Nancy Liu is live for us in Orange County, California. And Nancy, the sheriff just gave an update a short time ago. That's right, Nicole, and he shed light on the apparent motive here, an attack against Taiwanese people, which has this landmark church in Laguna Woods still a crime scene. Breaking today, the suspect is 68-year-old David Wenwei Chow, a Chinese immigrant apparently motivated by hate for Taiwan. 68-year-old David Chow of Las Vegas faces a felony count of murder, five counts of attempted murder, and the prospect of a possible federal hate crime charge. His alleged deadly actions inside this church have sent shockwaves through the Taiwanese community in Orange County. We all know someone or related to someone who attends this church. The parents of Yorba Linda City Councilwoman Peggy Huang are members of the Irvine Taiwanese Congregation, which shares the facility with Geneva Presbyterian. Chow was not known to the longtime greeters who seated him Sunday, despite an immediate red flag. Welcomed him to the church and knew he was a first-time visitor. Uh, even though he, uh, the shooter claimed that he had been there before. They welcomed him and welcomed him to the service. He sat down and uh, sat through the service with them. Deadly gunfire tore through the luncheon afterwards, where about 50 congregants were visiting with former pastor Billy Chang, who is in town from Taiwan. According to the Orange County Sheriff's Department, Chow emigrated from China and was motivated by hate. Based on preliminary information, in the investigation. It is believed the suspect involved was upset about political tensions between China and Taiwan. Chow allegedly used chains and super glue on multiple exit doors to prevent people from fleeing. And it was Pastor Chang who helped to subdue the gunman. When uh, the man stopped firing and started to reload, Pastor Chang took a chair, struck him, he fell down, and other people you know, tackled him and got on top of him. Nearby electrical cords were used to hogtie the gunman and they confiscated two handguns. But a 52-year-old doctor was killed during the struggle. Five others hit by gunfire are all expected to survive. They range in age from 66 to 92. And the sheriff notes that all who subdued the gunman are also elderly. And they acted uh, spontaneously, heroically, and if not for their quick action, the way that this individual set up that environment to kill many more people, there would have been many, many more lives lost. Now at 68, the suspect may be one of the country's oldest mass shooters. Authorities say Chow has held jobs as a security guard and evidence indicates he may have wanted to take far more lives. Four Molotov cocktails were located around this church along with extra bags of ammunition. I just ran into these ladies who have just returned here to the church. Uh, they are going inside to retrieve some items. The sheriff mentioned that, that there's canes, a walker, that was left inside the church. So this story is still developing. Yeah, Nancy Lou bringing us the facts of this case. All right, Nancy, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.